Ladies and gentlemen, how we doing? Good morning. Welcome to Halmstad, Sweden. Hope you're having a great day so far. Hope you're having a great week, like I've said before. Sweden is one of my favorite countries in the world. I'm visiting my best boy, Samuel Kroon, plays for Halmstad BK in the Swedish first tier. It's called the Allsvenskan. He's playing tonight against AIK, big European giant. I'm sure many of you, I hope every single one of you know who they are. So I'm gonna take you along through the day. Obviously, the best part of the day starts with a great workout, so we're gonna get a good session in. Gonna take some beta alanine before my session. Yo, Ricky, what supplements do you use? Beta alanine, uh, gonna take some BCAAs, training fasted, I'm gonna eat afterwards, and then I'm gonna get some work done, probably play some footy later before his game, do a little footy training, and then head over to his game. So, let's enjoy, homies. me I got this whole joint to myself. Holy. Jeez, son. Chilling that. Let me walk you guys and girls through this entire gym session. I started off with about 10 minutes on the bike to get some blood flow, oxygen, and warmth to the legs as well as the entire body. I then got into two sets of a banded hip flexor and a banded adductor stretch like I showed you in the last video, to really open up that hip joint. I then did some knee forward, knee out, knee in, for some internal and external rotation of the hip. Obviously very crucial as a footballer. Helps me really open up that hip joint, really get some warmth to that tissue in the area before moving on to some more dynamic stretching, hand to foot stretch, Excellent one to open up the hip, the hip flexor, as well as the posterior chain, the calves, as well as the hamstrings, as well as the upper back, specifically going into the hand and foot, plus a reach. Make sure you're breathing in and out of your nose the entire time. Moving on to a child's pose to a groiner. So child's pose, and then you jump up to your feet to open up your groin. So as you see, these are excellent stretches for the entire body. As always, you wanna make sure to keep your core engaged the entire time to make sure that you're in a proper spinal and pelvic position, which allows you to get more into those hips, more into that joint to open up the space in there. Then moved on to some rotations. Most of you guys and girls who've watched my videos before have seen that I do this all the time, and it's just to prove a point. I do this about three to four, maybe five days per week to really open up the hips. These are excellent dynamic movements to do before a gym session, before a field session, whether it's a footy session, whether it's a team training session, whether you're working on speed. These are all excellent movements. Then moved on to an inchworm, which works the whole body, specifically focusing on the back of the body, the posterior chain. Then moved on to a hamstring lengthen, as you see here, lying on the back. All I'm focusing on doing is trying to get that heel to the sky and the toes to my face. Really excellent to open up the entire hamstring. Then we got into more of an activation series. So very big on activating the glutes as well as the hamstrings. Did about three sets of 15 of these on each leg. This was a Monday, so I considered it an activation day to get ready for the week. Then moved on to some supine leg raises excellent for the hip flexor for activation and really getting into the specific part of the hip that is very very important and crucial for us footballers then i moved into a kneeling hip car so these are excellent things to do they're called controlled articulations specifically for the hip joint really really good to open up space in that hip and when you can open up space in your hips you can activate and get into your glutes more. Then went into some glute medius raises. This is an excellent way to get into the glute medius. The glute medius is very, very important for change of direction, acceleration, deceleration, and speed movements before moving on to an adductor raise, excellent for the groin. Then I moved into some more complex stuff, some in and outs with a band around my ankle, 
These are excellent for neural activation to turn your brain on as well as to activate those glutes, those legs in a more athletic and explosive position. But as I always say, we start slowly. We start with the basic movements like I showed you in the beginning and we progress it. We do not go too quickly. If you're ever trying to rush anything, you're trying to go too quickly with anything you do, you're not going to do it right. So what I always stress to my clients, to my friends who train, and especially myself is take it slowly, take one step at a time, warm up the body properly, and it will really, really pay dividends in your performance now and in the future. I then moved into an elevated Kozak squat, and I would highly not recommend this to beginners. If you're a beginner, put your foot on the floor, don't have it on an elevated surface. This really challenges your adductor mobility, your groin mobility, as well as the strength on that other leg. Love this one, pistol to bench. You can do this whether you're a beginner or an expert. Really, really good single leg movement to challenge that opposite leg, the quad, the hamstring, the glute, as well as your balance. As you see here, you're just using that bench as a guide, tap that bench, and you're trying to explode up. I then moved on to some plate front squats. Really love these. These are excellent to activate the anterior chain of the body. So the front part of the body, the core, really excellent to challenge that as well as the legs. So you're trying to go down slowly and you're exploding up and that's it. All right, homies, as you saw, top class session at a top class gym. I'm gonna eat some breakfast right now. I'll show you what I'm eating and then I'm gonna go train outside here. There's a pitch. I don't know if you can see it. There's a pitch over here. And I'm going to train there in about an hour. Very light and simple breakfast. Got myself some oatmeal, three eggs. Digest this quickly and then go train. So now let me walk you through this footy session on this beautiful Bernabeo pitch. As you saw here, started off with some spin juggles. I then moved on to some front spin juggles. So as you see here, I'm sure you've seen this on my Instagram before, or at least I hope you have. These are an excellent way to work on how you strike the ball whether you're looking to drive the ball, whether you're looking to shoot, whether you're looking to pass. These are excellent because it's basically the same exact technique when you're trying to execute a drive or a shot. So I want you to point your toes down, lock that ankle, have a nice slight bend in the knee, and then all you're doing is hitting that ball off your laces trying to create a front spin. So you want that ball to spin in a front direction. I then moved on to some right foot inside juggles. I also love this one because it helps you with your overall aerial control and your comfort out of the air. So when you're getting the ball from a teammate on a diagonal or you're trying to take the ball down out of the air on a goal kick or any high ball, these really, really help you. Then moved into some right foot lace. So same exact technique as we spoke about before, some front spin juggles, but we're going low, low, high. So two low juggles and then popping that ball well above our head, controlling it down and taking two more low touches before popping it high again. We wanna to try to control that technique the entire time. This is a pretty advanced one, but if you are good with that inside juggle that I showed you before, you could try that out. So it's low, low, high, just using the inside. So same exact type of drill as we talked about before. But here what we're looking to do is try to keep that leg at about 90 degrees, hit that ball with the inside part of our foot the entire time. This is gonna require some good hip mobility and then you're gonna go low, low, high. Here we did some low, low highs with the lace but we're switching feet every time. So we would go right, left, low, pop that up, take that down with our right and then switch it off. So alternating the entire time. And it's the same exact technique that we spoke about before, trying to get a front spin on the ball the entire time. Make sure you're really focused and concentrated during this drill because it could really help you improve your touch and control. Then moved on to the last drill of the day, some high lows. So basically what you're gonna do is use every single surface. You're gonna juggle that ball when you're ready, you're gonna pop it. You're gonna start with your right lace, Move into your left lace, then you're gonna go into your right inside like here. Then you're gonna move into your left inside. Then we're gonna move into your right thigh, left thigh, right chest, left chest, and then your head. 
one of my favorites to really improve your control and work on every surface of your body. I'm still working on that outside part of the foot. I can do it properly, consistently with the right, with the left, I'm still working on it. So I'll wait to show you guys on that one. But that's also one that you could work on. Really just trying to get comfortable with the ball out of the air. The more comfortable you are on the ball, the more you're gonna enjoy the game. That's what it's all about. As you guys saw, not the most perfect pitch, but we made the most of it. Worked on our aerial control, touch out of the air, technical stuff, absolutely love this stuff. Super, super, super underrated way to improve your technique alone. This, this has honestly improved my passing, my first touch, my shooting, my driving the ball, everything. My confidence with the ball out of the air, it's unbelievable, really. Uh, so we're gonna enjoy the rest of the day. I'll take you along, let's get it. <laughs> Dinner for Rafiki. Aww. What's going on, homies? How we doing? I didn't outro the last vlog, so this is the day after his game, after a 1 0 win against AIK. Wanted to bring this big man on and give you guys and girls three key tips to becoming a pro. First of all, I think you guys should have like a clear goal, and uh, it's very important to, to move towards something. Uh, and you need a propose for that goal. Uh, second of all, uh, I would say you really need to train hard for it. And uh, you need to find men like this guy to, to guide you through that and, and you know, guide you towards your goal with uh, good actions, good uh, training sessions, good uh, nutrition and everything that's around football. And all right, so let's start toothpick in for the third one. Or relaxing a little bit for the third tip. And for the third one, I would say consistency to do everything right and to get right back on track. You get like outside of your goal when you do, don't do the right actions, you should just get right back to it the day after. I don't think about it too much. Absolutely love that. Do a couple quick questions. What's your favorite cheat meal? A fat burger. All right. What are your favorite boots to wear? Nike Mercury. How often do you get a fresh cut? Every 14 days. Show the cutting. Sheesh. Where can they follow you? Instagram, I'm sure this guy will tag me there. I'll drop it. Make sure I get towards his 100k. Let's get it. Have a good rest of the day, and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Stay safe, stay healthy. Deuces.